Here we go. So when I flash out very quickly, go and look up for the article on your on your browser. Two key Fed officials express support for keeping interest rates high. Okay. This is talking about keeping it high, not, not pushing it to 7%. So there's a big difference. So here we go. And the two, Governor Michelle and Boston Fed President Susan. There's still the possibility that Fed will have to raise rates further if economic data doesn't cooperate. All right. So what is this economic data that doesn't cooperate? Let me pull out right now to show you. And some of you are not monitoring this gauge. So let me do you a favor. Here we go. We got to look at this guy. This is our inflation. Zoom, zoom. And I was talking about we hit 3% in June. We got a kind of a good rally back then. Let me just move out a little bit more. 3% in June. And then July, we hit 3.2. And this month, we announced for August, 3.7. So this guy started to move up again. Okay. So this is the one that raised the alarm and Fed realized that they have to keep the rates high because out of nowhere, 3 moved to 3.7. This is significant. The worst is next month, it touched 4. Then we are back to square one. So this is the one that we are dealing with right now. And then we come back to these two Fed officials to try to get some hint. Okay? We know about the target rate of 2%. That's what they are aiming for. And the last time around when it hit 3%, you know, we were very, very happy. We were cheering for it. We thought we had one more month, psh, we dropped to 2 but it starts to go up. So right now, here we go. With the majority of the FOMC expecting inflation to remain above target through at least 2025, holy moly, and her own expectation that progress in the battle will be slow, it suggests that further policy tightening will be needed to bring inflation down in a sustainable and timely manner. So the red box are Articulation in words, Jamie Dimon give us a number, 7%. <laughs> okay, so you connect these two and then you say, what? Is that what he meant by the 7%? Okay, then we go on down. Rates may have to stay higher and for longer than previous projections had suggested and further tightening is certainly not off the table. Policymakers will stay the course to achieve the Fed's mandate. So this came about this month when they decided not to raise the interest rate. We are still at 5.25. But then the problem is this. They keep telling the whole world that they will see one more interest coming this year. So later on, we'll open up the window. How many more windows are we left for the FOMC to conduct their meetings? Then potentially two cuts in 2024, assuming move of 0.25 percentage points. So they go to 5.5, cut two times of 0.25, then we bring back the interest rate to 5. We are still at 5% interest rate, which is damn high. And I taught you guys how to calculate for the FOMC 5%, you add another 6 to 7% to get the real mortgage interest that consumers are paying for their properties that they purchase. Hi, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the way I go about performing analysis, connecting the dots, then I want to invite you to our upcoming Cozy Live Trading. This is a full scale, five hour session. And what we do is this, we always cover the past two weeks, what the key events have happened in the stock market, and we also cover the next two weeks. So together, coming to the Cozy Live Trading, you enjoy one month of complete knowledge whereby we connect the dots, perform the analysis, and then we fire off the trades. So join us really, really soon in the upcoming Cozy Live Trading. Go below right now, click to register, and I shall see you in the class. Thank you. Goodbye.